In this video, we're going to provide the solution to question 21 for the practice final exam for math 1210, in which case we have a ladder that's 13 feet long. It's resting against a wall, and the bottom of the ladder is going to be sliding away from the wall. So I'm going to draw a picture to help us understand what's going on here. Here's going to be the ground that the ladder is resting upon. Here's the wall that the ladder will be resting against, and it's fair to assume that the wall is perpendicular to the ground. And in, in the color blue, I'm going to put the ladder here against the wall. All right, so this is our ladder. What we know about the ladder is it's 13 feet long. It doesn't mention anything about a collapsing ladder or anything, so I think it's fair to assume that the length of the ladder will be constant 13 throughout the rest of it. We've seen problems like this before where the since the ladder is sliding away from the wall, we're going to let x be the distance between the wall and the bottom of the ladder. This should be increasing with time. Well, as the ladder slips, it also means the ladder will fall. Let y be the height above the ground of the ladder. That is, let, let y be the distance from the bottom, that is the, the ground, to the top of the ladder at a given moment of time. And so these quantities are going to be related to each other by the typical Pythagorean relationship. x squared plus y squared is equal to 13 squared, which 13 squared is 169. All right. So if the bottom of the ladder is sliding away from the wall at a rate of 1 quarter foot per second, how fast is the top of the ladder moving down? We'll get to the rest of it in just a second. So what is this value here about the a quarter foot per second? This is describing the derivative here. So we get that dx dt at this moment in time is going to be one fourth a foot per second. So we know how quickly the x value is changing over time. We want to know how fast it's falling down. So we have this question about what is dy over dt at the moment at the moment, so let's go back to the sentence, how fast is the top of the ladder moving down? That would be dy dt when the bottom of the ladder is 12 feet away from the wall. So we're trying to figure out what is what is dy dt when x equals 12. So there's a couple things we need to do here. So first, we're going to take the derivative implicitly to help us find uh, a relationship between x prime and y prime. So taking the derivative on the left-hand side, we're taking the derivative with respect to time. We're going to get 2x x prime plus 2y y prime. On the right-hand side, you take the derivative of a constant, so that's 0. Um, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 2. This gives me x x prime plus y y prime equals 0. I need to solve for y prime, so we'll subtract x x prime from both sides. So y y prime equals negative x x prime. And then divide both sides by y. We see that y prime is going to equal negative x x prime over y. All right, so we have a formula for y prime. Uh, we would plug in the value 12 for x. We can plug in the value 1 quarter for, for x prime, but we don't know what y is. So we have to come back to our original relationship. That is this Pythagorean relationship. If x equals 12, uh, we're going to get 12 squared plus y squared equals 169. We solve for y. 12 squared is 144. And so we're going to subtract 144 from, one bo from both sides of the equation. This gives us that y squared equals 25. That is y equals 5. So with these values in hand, we can plug them into our formula. So we get that dy over dt at x equals 12 is going to be negative 12 times 1 fourth over 5 here, which 4 goes into 12 three times. So we end up with negative 3 over 5 feet per second. And it ought to be negative because the ladder's falling, so the height above the ground is getting smaller over time. 